what is up guys and welcome back to the channel today i wanted to do a quick video reviewing the uh, ma020 the all-wheel drive kyosho mini z uh, on the rcp track so if you haven't seen lately i've been doing a ton of videos with the audi r8 which is the mro3 rear wheel drive i slapped on some radial tires and did a review on that which was awesome but I have also been running this car on the track, which has still like the plastic drift tires. Oh, got some crap on there. But the plastic drift tires that these come with from the factory. So this does have uh, upgraded diffs. So it has the Kyosho solid diff in the back and then the Kyosho one-way diff in the front. And other than that, it is stock. Besides some dings and broken spoilers and missing exhaust tip. But other than that, that is it. And on my RCP track, I'm running the smooth side. So yeah, I want to do a review, let you guys know if this thing handles or drifts or is fun or a mess. So, well, let's hit the track. All right, we've got the WRX on the track, ready to go. See they're warmed up a little bit here. Oh, I think I knocked the body off here. See, that's kind of a weird mix. It, uh, it doesn't really grip enough to really like fly around the track, but you also don't have, it's not slippery enough either to like just drift the whole track either, so. It's kind of a weird, weird mix. Oh man, <laughs> two times in a row. It is definitely a handful on this track, that is for sure, compared to the uh, Audi. I would say this is more rewarding when you actually do throw down like a halfway decent lap just because it's way harder, way harder to control. But when you, when you nail the, like that right there, it's pretty fun. Oh. So I do have a new set of wheels and tires for this. And so I'm gonna try, try out like a more of a track setup on it or a grip setup, I guess you could say. So I'm really interested to see how that goes. And I want, I know there's an upgraded motor uh, for this as well, that's just a little bit faster. Uh, that turn is so fun. I'd be curious to see too, like I feel like if this had a little more front grip, it would make it a lot more controllable. <laughs> this thing is just all over the place. It is so hard to go from the MRO3 like grippy setup to this. Like it's completely different driving style. A little reverse entry flick right there. Usually you have to pay extra for tricks like that, but not today. All right. Let's see if we can hit it again. Nope. Yeah, with with the Kyosho one-way uh, front diff, when you go reverse on the trigger, it locks up only the rears and the fronts actually still free spin and you're able to whip it around like an e-brake. So that, that made a huge difference. I didn't really understand, like I heard everyone talk about the one-way diff, but I didn't really understand it 
until now, until I got on the track and have been doing this. Okay, I'll set you up and uh, get some up close shots and maybe have some slow mo action. We'll see. Okay, so final thoughts with the Mini Z all wheel drive with the plastic drift tires on the RCP track that's on the smooth side. It is pretty fun. It is quite the handful to drive around, but it is very rewarding, I would say, once you can kind of like piece together a few laps, unlike that. But yeah, just power sliding this thing around, it's pretty fun. The grippy tires, are fun but you get on this track you honestly get going around so fast it like hurts your brain to try to watch to watch the car go around and go so fast so this is a little a little slower slower pace and just a little more fun but i hope you enjoyed the video let me know down below what you think are you guys running or what kind of tire setup for your all-wheel drive are you running with the rcp tracks so but I think that'll do it for today. I think the next video I'm going to be putting on like the really grippy tires on this and seeing how it does going around the track. So you can look forward to that. So be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.